So today I'm gonna do a tag, and I've never done a tag before, so I just, uh, I thought it would be fun. So why not? So the one that I'm doing is the Winter Wonderland tag. And um, I just thought that the questions were the easiest one for me to answer. So the first question out of 14 is, what is my favorite thing about winter? My favorite thing about winter is Christmas. Um, I love the whole um, feeling of it. Um, I right at the day after Thanksgiving till about January 7th, because since I'm Cuban, we celebrate Three Kings Day, which is our Christmas, basically. Um, we put Christmas music on and Christmas movies, and we sit a lot by the tree, and it's kind of slow down. I know a lot of people get hectic and crazy, but my family, um, at least my husband and I, we, we slow down. We, at night, we, we stop to listen to the music, to watch the movies, to sit by the tree, we turn off all the lights and just have the Christmas tree lights on. And there's just something about slowing down and not letting Christmas, that Christmas season speed by. Um, it just, it's different from all the rest of the year for us. So we really, really love it. Okay, question number two, scarves or beanies? Uh, both. Um, although I live in Orlando, Florida, and um, this is the scarf I've been using. It's kind of lightweight. You can use it even in the spring. Um, I tend to cough a lot um, if I get sick, so I find that if I keep my neck warm, it stops me from getting, or keeps me from getting sick as often. And beanies, I mean, I love them, but in Florida, they're really just for looks. I mean, you don't really need them. I mean, maybe once in a while in Orlando, it does dip into the 30s and even 20s sometimes here. Yeah. Uh, favorite holiday movie? Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, please do. I'm putting a link uh, to my Instagram down below. Um, in my December photo challenge, I posted my three favorite movies, and they're all my favorite. Like I said, I, I should say they're, I love them all, but three are my favorite. The first one is um, This Christmas. The second one is The Family Stone. And the third one is the only one of my three favorite that I actually own, which is Love Actually. And uh, the other two, I Netflix. And as soon as they get in the to me in the mail, um, right around Thanksgiving time, then it just really starts to feel like Christmas for me. Um, favorite winter nail polish. I'm wearing it. I've got two though. Um, these, this is what I wore last year too. I'm doing the same two colors again this year. Um, these two are from Milani. It's what I'm wearing right now. It's what I'm going to wear for Christmas. Um, this uh, beautiful blue one that I've got on right now is called Bolting Blue. And then I layer it on top, which I will do, I haven't done it yet, is um, Twinkle. And I just love that combination. And then last year, I took my white um, um, nail art uh, polish by Kiss and we painted little doves and snowflakes um, on our, just on our ring fingers, but that was fun. And then after Christmas for New Year's, oh, and if you follow me on Facebook, I posted a picture of a look that I think I want to try this year. It's beautiful. Um, it's all wearing all white and then just red lips. And I think I'm going to pair it with this, these polishes that I also got last uh, Christmas. Um, this one is by Wet n Wild and it's called Burgundy Frost. And I layer it on top with um, just anything. This this one is by Spoiled, I, also by Wet n Wild. I think it was um, 99 cents at CVS. And it's called Shuffle the Deck. I think I'm going to try that. I think it looks really pretty. All right, favorite Starbucks holiday drink. All right, my favorite ho Starbucks holiday drink, hands down, is called Dulce de Leche. It was absolutely the best coffee I have ever tasted in my entire life. In fact, I never was a coffee drinker. I didn't even really like coffee. I would drink it once every blue moon. That Dulce de Leche coffee from Starbucks got me drinking coffee. It's what got me going to Starbucks. 
And I think like two or three years ago, they took it away. I haven't seen it since. So if you um, if you've tried it, let me know in the comments. Or if you if you are from Starbucks and you know if it's coming back, let me know, please. I mean, I love that coffee. I don't know why you guys would take it away. Oh, um, it was delicious. So what we've been drinking every night, like I said, we sit by the tree, watch movies. Um, it's not from Starbucks at all. It's actually from Gavalia. And it's this one, creme brulee. I got it hoping that it would be something like the Lusa de Leche. And it's not. It still tastes though. Uh, and it's decaf, in case you were wondering. Um, I just can't do caffeine every day. It's too much. Um, all right. What are my top three winter essentials? My top three winter essentials, I would say, are my scarf, like I mentioned. Boots, boots, boots. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I also posted a picture there of just some of my boots for the December photo challenge. These are the ones that I've been using um, since October. Um, and I love them. This is just one of the pair, but these were super inexpensive. They are from, oh, I forgot the name, but it's something, I put the name on Instagram, but it's like Wild Diva, Wild Diva Lounge, and these were buy one, get one half off, so I bought it also in the taupe color, and I love them. My third winter essential is this coat right here, and um, I moved to Orlando from Miami, and you don't really need a winter coat in Miami, maybe for like two weeks, so you can just wear heavy sweaters. Um, and then to go to Indiana or Chicago or to, you know, to visit my husband's family or to go wherever there's snow, I have a, a real winter coat. But when I moved to Orlando, and I, it, it gets cold, and I needed a jacket, and my sister-in-law and I went online, and we found this jacket. It was originally $99, and we found it for $9 teen dollars so we got it i love it i've had it for like six or seven years no eight years and i it still looks brand new you can throw it in the wash we spilled coffee on it once throw it in the wash and it's good to go i absolutely love my jacket okay um when it, what is one item on your wish list this year you know, I, I thought about this, I've wrapped my brain, my husband asked me, I don't really have anything that I particularly want. Um, my one wish was that he'd be home for Christmas and it worked out. Um, my husband work, travels for work and originally he was supposed to be home for Christmas and then it was not going to work out. He wasn't going to be able to be home for Christmas or New Year's. He was going to get in back just right after New Year's. But then at the last minute it all worked out and he's home and he won't be leaving till after New Year's uh, back to California. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe a pair of slippers. I don't know, I love slippers and that's what I wear when I'm home. Okay, favorite holiday song? Well, also from Love Actually, it's from the soundtrack. It's the first song when you watch the movie. I, I put it on Instagram as well by Billy Mack. It's, um, oh my gosh, what's it called? Christmas is all around. Oh my gosh, I love that song. I love them all, um, but there's something about it this year, and I've watched this movie 50,000 times since the year it came out. But so for some reason, this year, that song is on the top of my list, and my husband and I play it, and it just makes us laugh. Um, okay. Did you go Black Friday shopping this year? No. No, I never do. Every once in a while I say, well, maybe I'll give it a try, and then I don't. The truth is that I don't really, I, I really don't know what all the hubble is about. I don't find that many sales. I don't, you know, call me cheap, call me frugal. I don't buy anything ever if it's not on sale, and even then I will coupon it to death. So I find that I get great deals throughout the entire year. So for me to venture out into the crowds and, and fight, uh, and I don't know, it's not my thing. Plus the day after Thanksgiving, I think is a great day to just spend with the family. A lot of my family has the day off, so we'll play board games. 
um, or we'll decorate. And I, that's when we start playing the Christmas music. So that's, that's really what I would rather be doing. Uh, must have winter lip product. All right, hands down. And I've talked about this in other videos and I will probably talk about it in more videos is the Mary Kay Satin Lips. You guys, this is the best product ever, especially if you have dry lips or if you live in a cold weather part of the country where you're just in for more bleak weather ahead. I don't suffer from dry lips. Um, it's not a huge problem that I have, but every so often I absolutely do need it. We all do. Um, my husband, does travel and gets on the plane. He's near California. It, it's a lot. He uh, loves this. So it basically is a two-parter. This right here is the lip mask. And so you put it on and you leave it on for like two minutes and then you take it off and then you put on the lip balm. And this is like a magic combination right here for your lips. And um, I know there's all kinds of great lip balms out there, EOS. And I mean, I even use Vaseline at night, but, um, but the truth is that there's just something about this. You have to give it a try. And if you don't know how to get it, my website is down below and you can try it out. It is amazing. All right. Um, will you be rocking an ugly Christmas sweater this year? No, I do not own an ugly Christmas sweater. Although I would love to be invited to an ugly Christmas sweater party, I think. I think that would be super cute. In fact, I just gave myself an idea, and I think I might host one next year because I think that it's a really cute idea. I might have to do that. Um, okay, have you ever had a white Christmas where you live? Yes, I am originally from New York, and my husband's family is from the Midwest. Um, they are from South Bend, Indiana, and his parents just moved, well, didn't just move, <laughs> they moved, to a lake house in, they retired, and they moved to a lake house in Union, Michigan, and the lake freezes over. It's amazing that the same lake where we're jet skiing and swimming, and it's like boiling temperatures. In the summer, it's the same one where we go ice skating in the winter. So yes, I've had plenty of white Christmases. But I'll show you what my Christmas looks like today because for the last two or three weeks, I've woken up to 40s, temperatures in the 40s. Um, but I'm gonna show you today on the 22nd what my Christmas looks like. I just hope it cools off. So, All right, guys, so let me let just me take you outside my door so that you can see. This is definitely not a white Christmas. Um, as you can see, it is bright and sunny in Orlando, Florida. Okay, right? So that's 84 degrees. It's absolutely ridiculous. And that's with the sun going down a little bit. Because this, or a little bit earlier today, it was, it was beach weather. I mean, it was literally, it's crazy. Um, okay, favorite winter candle scent. My favorite winter candle scent this year and last year is from Bath and Body Works and it's Tis the Season. And oh my gosh, if oh my gosh, if you haven't tried this, run. Like run to the store. I, I put this on Facebook and on Instagram the day that I got it, letting everybody know, run to the store. They're having a sale. These candles are usually $20. And they had a sale, they were $8, plus I had a coupon, plus they were giving out more coupons. So I got five candles for $31 of my coupon. And really it cost me nothing because I had a merchandise credit. But oh my gosh, I have another one of these burning by my bed right now. And this, um, the scent is um, red, sorry, rich red apples, green pine, and a touch of golden cider combined to capture all the joy and activities of the holidays. Um, it's delicious. Okay, the 14th and last question, how will you be celebrating this holiday? Um, this holiday, we are leaving to Miami. Actually, tomorrow when I'm done filming today, I'm gonna start packing. We're gonna leave to Miami tomorrow. 
um, and spend it with my mom and my sister and her kids and I'm super excited we're gonna have our traditional Cuban Christmas Eve which means pork and congri which is um, brown rice with um, or I should say black rice with uh, black beans and yuca and maybe we'll have some plantains and we're gonna my mom ordered a flan which is a super delicious um, Latin uh, dessert and that's the best way to celebrate it as far as I'm concerned is with all the yummy food and we'll probably spend the rest of the time through New Year um, just playing board games with my nieces and um, enjoying our time together. So that's it. I tag all of you to uh, do this video as well. And if you do video responses to me in the comments below, I would love to see your version of the Winter Wonderland um, 